Hey guys, I just wanted to nerd out about my Toonie collection today. In case you don't know what a Toonie even is, it's the Canadian $2 coin. We call it the Toonie because we have a $1 coin called the Looney, and it has a loon on it. And that's why it's the Looney. So when the $2 coin came out, for whatever reason, all the Canadians have decided it's going to be the Toonie. So it's the Toonie. So when they started coming out, they came out in 1996... I just started collecting them, and I have a good chunk of them. I'm missing a couple. Uh, I presume I must have just spent them thinking I had duplicates or something. Any of them that I would have spent, it's probably not a big deal to replace. As far as I'm aware, I already have the, the rarest one, but we'll get to that shortly. So I'm just going to go through it from 1996 to the most current one I have, which is unfortunately not 2020. But we'll just start off, you know, 96, like I said, get this, get this puppy up here so you can take a gander. This is the very first year, like I said, of the Toonies being minted, 96, there was approximately 375 million of these printed. These are the easily the most common Toonie that you'll come across. I don't even, like, specifically save these. They're so easy to get. I just happened to have one in my chain, so I figured I would display it here. However, because there was so many printed in 96, in 97 there was considerably less printed. So here I have a couple 97s because it was the rarest, one of the rarest toonies that I found. If the autofocus would autofocus, but believe you me, yeah there, 1997. These ones there is approximately 17 million printed. And I have two. Now, this is what I really consider, like, the crown jewel of my Toonie collection. I have three of these. Let me pick it up here. It's the 1998 Toonie. This one took me a long time to find even one, but then I found two more, oddly enough. As far as I'm aware, to date, the 1998 Toonie is the rarest year of Toonie that was minted. At approximately 5 million. There's been a few other ones that are closer and other versions of Toonies that there were fewer than 5 million of them made. Like this variety, for instance, we'll get to it. There's about 3 million of this type printed, as far as I'm aware. In 1998, I do have, like I said, I have a couple of those. I always want to have them. Here's the 1999 Toonie. It's at none of it. It's, uh... Representing none of it for 1999. There's about 25 million of them printed. They're not overly uncommon. Most of them past like 2000 or so, or past 98 really, aren't that uncommon. And another thing you might be wondering is that like, it might seem kind of brazen to be displaying a coin collection on YouTube, but like, yeah, and it is Toonies, but none of them are worth anything. Like, you see, you know the 1998 Toonie that I just showed you? You know how much this is worth? Two bucks. Not to mention they're grubby. I don't really... I'm not keeping them for the sake of them accumulating great value like 40 years from now. So, I, I don't care. I just... I want to have them for the sake of just having... You know, all of them at some point. I'm getting... Getting close, but like I said, I don't have the 2000 one. I didn't say that yet, but it's one of the ones I must have erroneously spent and or it's just stashed away somewhere I couldn't find, but that's all right. There's approximately 30 million of those ones printed, so they're not difficult to come across. Same with the 2001. Those are, those are actually a fair bit rarer, and if I remember correctly... I might be getting 2001 and 2011 mixed up. Uh, but one of them has a... It was it the Boreal Forest? It has, like, trees on it. That might actually be 2011, come to think of it. And I'm getting the 11 million of them that were minted confused at the moment. In any case, next up here is a regular... 50-year uh, anniversary Toonie. I don't believe there's any regular 2002 Toonies, but there might be. If there are, it wouldn't be, like, a big deal. It wouldn't be, like, super special. 
uh, put that back. And I also don't have a 2003, but you might be wondering what this is. This is just like the center of one that was, you know, rusted, rusted by the elements. Back when the Toonies first came out, people really liked trying to punch holes through them because you see how they have the two different, you know, metal varieties in them. So people used to punch holes in them. I used to have one where the, like the queen and the bear would be reversed. That reminds me too, we, when the Toonie first came out, we actually had a joke where we would say, on the Toonie, the queen's on front with a bear behind. It was great fun. That's just, you know, a little bit of Canadian hilarity. So we ha also have right here the 2004 variety of Toonie. That one had about 13 million or so minted. I don't believe there's any special varieties of this 2004 one. Same with 2005 here. Got that one as well. 2005, there was a lot of these ones printed, like 38 million. On top, aside from 96, that might be the most printed. It's up there. It's definitely up there. Okay, next up here we have, I believe this is just a regular 2006 Toonie. Just a regular one. Regular 2006. I'm not sure which ones are which. But 2006, there was about 35 million of them minted. That one's not really coming through too well, but it's not... It's a regular one. I'd rather show off the, the fancier one, which is... Was this the 10-year 10 10 year anniversary? Yeah, 10-year anniversary of the Toonie. Toonie. But it was also minted in 2006. I'll put it back. 2007 as well. A lot of them look the same. Once they start getting into the 2010s, they start getting a little more variety in the Toonies. But this here, 2007, there was about... Yeah, there's about 38, 39 million of them printed as well. Pretty close up there at 2005. Then next up, I have a few varieties of the 2008 Toonie. So we have this regular Toonie, 2008... Oddly enough, there's only, I say only, but like about 18 million of them uh, were printed. But we have this regular 2008 version. We also have this one that's a little different. It's a Quebec Toonie. 1608 to 2008 is 400 years uh, commemorative Toonie. I have a couple of them as well. Then we have the 2009 2009 Toonie, about 38 million of them as well, just but fairly regular. And this kind of makes me laugh because I didn't notice this before the stream started, but I don't have like a 2000 Toonie, a 2010 Toonie, or a 2011 or 2001 Toonie. They just happen to be absent. But I do have this 2012. I think these are all the same. I don't know if I stacked them for any particular reason. No, I just have... I don't know why I have three of those. Normally, I have dupli if I have duplicates of fairly normal ones, I'll just spend them. But I'm hoarding these 2012 ones. <laughs> yeah, and I guess... Uh, never mind what I said before. 20 2012, they printed 89 million... Although I'm trying to remember, was that the year that the penny was eliminated? It might have been. And if it was, I feel like that might have something to do with why maybe they printed extra coins because they were concerned. There might be a shortage somehow if the penny, the penny ran out. Here we have the 2013 one. Another fairly normal variety. 2013, they printed about 12 million of those. What's this one? Is this my 2014? It is. You probably won't be able to see the image here very well. It's kind of showing up. 2014. Anyway, I'll explain. It's, uh... You can't really see it, but it's it's more or less a child with their hand extended uh, reaching for their father who's walking off to war. A lot of the Toonies start being, uh, like, Remembrance Day focused around 2014. Okay, now we have 2015 where we actually have 
couple varieties. There might be a regular variety of 2015 Tooney. I can't remember. But we have this regular one. We'll see if we can get this one to focus. But it is a Tooney of our first Prime Minister, Sir John A. Macdonald. And, yeah, it's 2015. Where are my 2015s? Right here. And there's about 30,000 of those minted. It's another John A. Macdonald there. Or is this my regular? Yeah, we do have a regular 2015 right here. So we have, I believe, all three varieties of the 2015 tuning. And this one is another Remembrance Day. It's more of like a Navy... It's either Navy or like anti-aircraft guns. It's showing some... No, I'm getting this mixed up with a different one. So we got 2016 here. We got the non-fancy 2016 one. This one here. It's the regular one. As well as a fancy pants one. Yeah, this is the one I thought I was looking at a minute ago. It has like some sort of... Looks like they're in a submarine or something. It's got like an anti-aircraft gun or some such thing in it. So that's neat. Got that. Oh yeah, I should... Uh, I want to get this one... This one's, like, really special, and oh, allow me to show you, but it requires a little bit of prep. So, one minute. One minute here. Let me just take it off camera for a second and surprise you with whatever, whatever it is. Whatever I'm trying to do here. So, did I look at all the 2016s? We looked at the ones with the guns. Yes. And the regular one. So here we have some more Remembrance Day Toonies. This one, Vimy. Forgive me, it escapes me what specifically this one is referring to. But it, but it is Remembrance Day. I'll just forget because it's Remembrance Day, 2017. And the coin that I was saying was the special one. This is the version of it without the ink on it. I used to think that these versions, like they all had ink, but some of them would just wear off over time. That is not the case. Some were minted with the ink, some were not. 2017, right? Yeah, 2017 coins. Though about 39, 40 million of them made it to the mint. However, the special one that I'm talking about, they only made about 3 million of them. And let me see if I can show you what's so special about it now. Let's see if I can make this work. I don't think it's really working. Maybe I can... That's too bad. Anyway, it's glow-in-the-dark. This, this is actually a glow-in-the-dark. Uh, toony, but it's unfortunately it's not really coming up in the in the shot. I tested it earlier. Yeah, I can see it now, but you, know, you can't see it really. Maybe you can see it a little bit, the glow-in-the-darkness. But yeah, pretty cool. Glow-in-the-dark glow toony. Yeah, you can sort of see it there. I just gotta blast it maybe a bit longer. I didn't blast it long enough. I didn't have it centered the way I wanted, but yeah, anyways, we do. Glow-in-the-dark toony. Isn't that neat? Glow-in-the-dark coin. Forgot I even had a glow in the dark coin. Put the light back on here. 2017. Okay, so now we also. Now we're moving on to the 2018. It's about 26 million of them printed. We have. What's the deal with that one? That's the normal one. I'll show off the normal one because they're normal. After a certain time, they started printing the, the maple leaves down here. I didn't really draw attention to that. When does that start? Around. Around the 2010s, they started to pick up that habit. Just throw my money away. Put that away, and we have a number. It's the same deal here. This is uh, the Armistice. Commemorating the Armistice. And that was the 27, 2018 Toonie. And then we also have the one with the ink on it. This isn't glow in the dark, but we do have a a poppy on it for the armistice 
And like I said, I don't have any 2020 ones, but I do have this regular 2019 one. As you can see right here, and I also have this D-Day one as well. There's also a colored version of the D-Day one, but they're not like overly rare. You could probably still find them out and about. And like I said, there's a 2021, but seeing as how this year's panned out, I haven't really been sifting through a lot of change, but I have no idea if that really affected how much was minted or not. Or if the or if 2020 will end up being a rare one. So yeah, what am I missing? I'm not missing a lot. But I do have a couple of 1998 toonies. So, I don't know. If you're also a toonie collector, maybe I'd be interested in doing a trade. I don't know. Hit me up if that's even a if that's even a thing. Anyway, I just want, like I said, I just want to nerd out about my Toonie collection because I kind of forgot about how, like, into collecting them I was. But I'm missing, like, what, four or five? I'm not missing a lot of them. Seven? Anyways, thanks for joining for... Just just for my gushing about my Toonie collection. Don't expect me to, do, to start doing a bunch of coin collecting videos. I don't really have other... Like, I stopped my main coin collecting phase like years and years ago but I've just kind of kept up with the toonies because I, I had the first one I like trying to keep on top of it but now that I've done this stream here I keep calling it a stream it's not a stream but now that I've done this video here I can I realize which ones I'm missing and I can use them to fill the void so thanks again for joining and I'll catch you in the next video